Today we're doing a program that I partnered with Antelope Island with called Kids in Action. I got involved in the program because I've always been interested in getting kids into real science. I've always enjoyed getting into real science. I've learned kind of those skills and, and started networking with people in the state and that's how I got connected with Jolene Rose here at Antelope Island. My name is Jolene Rose. I'm the wildlife biologist here on Antelope Island State Park. And as a biologist here, we take care of habitat needs for all wildlife. So that includes food, water, shelter for wildlife to survive. The Kids in Action program started as getting the kids outdoors and understanding what invasive species are, how that impacts wildlife specifically at Antelope Island, and how we eliminate them. And one of the things that we've done with that is biological control. We use mechanical, chemical, um, there's different ways to eliminate weeds, but one of the ones that is in our toolbox, because we use all of the tools, is biological control. Those biological controls come from the native area of where the weed comes from. So those weed species that have been brought here, there's a lot of research that goes into it to make sure that that biological control will only eat that particular weed species. Mandy Nikayla had them imagine the most evil plant they could think of with as many adaptations as they could think of. So ways to um, get water, outcompete the native vegetation, uh, resist other means of uh, controlling them like mechanical control or chemical control. What we did is we're just kind of making it a fun activity but with scientific actual scientific tools. I broke them up into four different groups so they learn how to sweep net. Sweep net uh, goes into if we're looking for a particular biological control we can sweep through and then we can aspirate. Uh, we do use that. We move bugs throughout the state all the time with going out and doing collections. We also want to GPS the coordinates of the infestations. And then the third station was using the Daubenmeyer frame and actually collecting the scientific data. So teaching them how to use those data points, the information that they're going to collect, the species cover a number of a percentage of species that's present. And then the fourth was looking at the actual bug itself, seeing what we're going to be releasing, seeing what we're looking for, some of these are stem eaters, uh, some eat the, the flowers, some eat the leaves. They really enjoy the application of the, of the process here and some kids, even like the areas where I thought that they wouldn't, like using the aspirators to suck up bugs that they collect. And so, you know, I think it's really important for them to see the application of the science. It is kind of interesting because I've never really known that you've had to um, use bugs to get rid of some weeds because I thought that most weeds you could just get rid of with herbicide. I really liked the catching the bugs with the nets. I thought that was really fun because it was interesting to see what kind of bugs you were able to catch in just that one patch of tall weeds. It's fun to work with the kids. I enjoy the kids coming out and I think you know just that one kid that went oh I remember that. 